Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Vani on behalf of Vedantu Biotronic once again in front of you with a very different, beautiful and I hope a very interesting as well as motivating uh, lecture. I won't say today, I'll give you kind of a story for you because this is my story today. This is my story this week where I'm going to be talking about my life, my journey and how I uh, came on to become what I am today, a bio teacher. Yes, a teacher by by passion and by choice. So if I just have to describe myself very briefly, I always say I'm a dentist by profession, but I indeed, I'm a, I'm a teacher by choice, I'm a teacher by passion, a gardener at heart and a nomad at spirit. Been seen the world, traveled a lot since I was really young, has, has really made me to what I am today. But if there's one incident which really defines what I am doing today or who I have become, it has to be that beautiful, uh, that really beautiful day and I really want to go back down memory lane and share that beautiful day with you. So I had got selected, I graduated, uh, I'm a dentist by profession so I graduated and throughout my college I, I loved teaching. I always wanted to do my master's in oral pathology. That's another story I will tell you some other day which didn't happen, but I wanted to do my master's in oral pathology. But I always loved teaching. So I used to be teaching my juniors, I used to be teaching a lot of my you know, classmates and make notes like I do even now and enjoy the entire process of studying. And then what happened was, after my graduation, I happened to clear the examination of a very, very coveted college of a really famous college in India. It's called the TIS, the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, which happens to be in Bombay. And I was all set, like all set, imagine to go to the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Bombay. I did want to teach, but I was doing my master's. I wanted to go and do my master's in public health from the TIS, Bombay. And then I do get a call from Lakshya. Yes, the same Lakshya, which was the first startup of the founders of Vedantu. So the connection is close to a decade back, which I'm sure you all know. I've been working with the same people for close to a decade, yes, 10 years now. So uh, I was in Chandigarh that time and Lakshya was in Patiala. So it was just a week to 10 days that I had to go to Bombay and join college. And I, I just don't know, but I had a very, uh, you know, destiny as they call it, or I had this feeling that I need to go and at least see what Laksha is doing once. And because I always, always wanted to teach, it was something very, uh, very passionate in me. So I did go to, <laughs> without any preparation, yeah, just no preparation, I did go to Laksha. And Anand sir, I still remember, I think Anand sir was there in my interview and, <laughs> and there was no preparation and I took, I still remember I taught principles of inheritance and variation so I gave some lecture on Mendel, probably that's the reason why I still really enjoy teaching genetics and I was through, I, I immediately they gave me my offer letter and I was a teacher at Laksha. So I had to choose between becoming a teacher, which I really always wanted to become, or go to Bombay and join TIS. And you know what I did? I picked up Lakshya and the rest they say is history. Absolutely no looking back since that day and today. And I just have such good vibes to give. I just have so much to be thankful about. I just have, my life got enriched from that day and my life took a totally, totally different turn. But this is a beautiful long story till Lakshya and after Lakshya. So let's get it started from the beginning. My first school and where did I graduate from and how did it all happen? In the next few minutes, stay connected. So my dear children, let me take you through the journey of my life, my inspiration, my trials, my tribulations. Uh, how did I manage to, to become the person that I am today and to, to be able to fall in love with my work, uh, with Vedantu, with, with, you know, with the ability to transform the lives of so many children. Uh, so yeah, so I was born in this really small, uh, I come basically from this really small place in Himachal Pradesh and I was born in a small place in Hushyarpur, uh, in Punjab. And uh, you know my first school, if I have to talk about that, so my first school was this place in Himachal called Samdhu, which probably isn't there on the map even today. Yes, 
yes even today uh, to be able to find something on map is a challenge uh, it's close to 17 18000 feet above sea level and my parents took me there and uh, yes i uh, i did my first schooling from um, this really thin school there learned how to read and write but one of the most important parts of my uh, growing up life was travel i did travel a lot i met a lot of people i traveled the length and breadth of the country and probably through these travels i learned so much about india about our geography about our people places things culture traditions languages and uh, in a way that has truly made me the person that i am today i uh, somehow reached class 11th and 12th i realized I wanted to become a doctor because uh, I like the white coat, the stethoscope, all of this. Uh, to be able to, you know, heal people, uh, touch their lives in a very different way, always, always, was a big inspiration in my life. Uh, I loved biology. I breathed biology. I loved biology. I loved plants. You can see that, you know, all the time. I, I kind of really liked life sciences. It was, it was how uh, I. wanted to do a certain thing in my life and then i happened to be in the competitive examination and went on to study or to graduate from sdm college of dental sciences of uh, dharwad which happens to be one of asia's or one of india's best best dental colleges one thing which really has stayed uh, with me from the journey of my college is I really enjoyed my second year and my third year in college also my final year because final year was clinics so you get clinical postings I did enjoy my internship also but I have to mention about my second year and third year because I truly enjoyed general medicine and general surgery which were taught to you in third year pathology uh, specifically oral pathology so that's physiology medicine anatomy that is a time that I realized that how beautiful biology our subject is and how Uh, how amazing studying all of this is now the real journey of you know my life now of, of your and mine connection will start so after college i did tell you yes i yes so after college i was planning to do my masters plan to do my public health or do my pg but then one of the most beautiful phases of my life started which has been a constant of my life even now and that is lakshya So yeah, when I talk about Vedanta, we have our founders, Vamsi sir, Pulkit sir, and Anand sir. The first uh, startup of the three of them was Lakshya Forum for Competitions. We did have our headquarters in Patiala, moved on to Bhatinda, uh, Chandigarh, Panchkula, and all these places, you know. So I joined Lakshya Forum for Competitions immediately after my graduation. and trust me my dear children there has been no looking back so many times you know i talk about we hear this word called passion we hear this word called you have to find your calling in life we hear this word where people, somebody asks you you know what is it that you want to do in life for me it's been the most beautiful serendipity it's been a discovery it's been the the time of a lifetime really look at the glint in my eyes look at how how happy i feel even when i start to think about it or i talk about it that how amazing has this journey been of not transforming anybody else's life no of of being able to transform my own life of being able to to realize my passion in this life of being able to you know of of, of being of some use i think that alone has been one of the guiding principles of my life and i have been so fortunate to do you know there are times i i talk to people i talk to students don't go bahut late unka passion pata chalta logo bahut late pata chalta hai ki unko zindagi mein kya karna tha shayad what was their motive what was their aim in life and for me it has always been because you see man man kabhi i have never been to a very big public school i have never been to a very very uh, you know a big city or a metro for that matter when i was growing up and i do realize that most of us you and me we are like that we belong to these small cities we have really big dreams in our eyes and what better than to fuel these dreams these desires than to ignite this passion and i believe that it's on the shoulders of teachers 
on the shoulders of the community of entire teachers that this country can truly transform because India is a young country, my dear children. 20 years se below, we are 80% of us are below 20 years of age. So we really need to bring about a change uh, in the mindset, in the lives of of, of, of the new generation of the generation X and if I can and now imagine I have this beautiful platform called Rebiotonic through which I am truly able to bring about a change you know whenever uh, my journey my talks will always remain incomplete without talking about the founders or without talking about the journey of Vedantu because Vedantu truly is is that fulcrum or is that pivot on which I, I base my journey I never imagined, never, and you know, whenever I talk to Vamsi sir, Pulkit sir specifically, whenever I talk to him or Anand sir, we always say one thing and we, and they tell me or, or probably sometimes I tell them that, you know, we really are there to bring about a change. One child at a time, like I always say, one classroom at a time, one, uh, you know, one, one YouTube lecture at a time, probably, or one webinar at a time, one class, because we believe that this country can change. The moment you make education, the moment you make quality education free, the moment you make it accessible, the moment there are hundreds and thousands and millions of kids who can study, can study from the comforts of their home, can study wherever they are, and have quality have access to quality education you've transformed you've transformed this subcontinent and you've transformed this entire country of ours isn't that such a great thought isn't that some isn't that a passion that will drive you forever and ever and also in this beautiful journey obviously everybody says their parents their family members goes without saying what my parents what my extended family my both sets of parents have done for me uh, is probably exemplary but I would really want to also talk about one person whose influence as a teacher in my life has really really been quite a lot you know when I was studying medicine in in third year of college we had a professor uh, he's still there his name is uh, and I wish he lives forever and ever his name is Dr. Sham Amu he is a cardiologist you know professionally MBBS MD and sir always used to say one thing you know sir used to say you know used to say that when you go to clinics when you have your own practice my dear children you must study well he always laid emphasis on studies and on knowing your subjects well on being very proficient with your subjects with having in-depth knowledge because he used to say that you don't really have to do a lot of tests to to find out what problem does a patient have you don't really have to you know do uh, a lot of very hi-fi procedures he says the patient is your biggest test or your patient will tell you everything that you need to know and used to always say one thing which has stayed with me which I always very often tell in my classes he says your eyes can only see what your brain knows so when I talk about medicine when I talk about physiology when I talk about uh, you know knowledge you really need to enrich your brains because your eyes can truly 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 only see what your brain knows and I also want to tell you you know there is no glory in what we become because eventually I know every all of us do well so there is no glory in the death in the final destination there is no you know there's no success in reaching the, the, the top the beauty or all learning or you know all all your uh, stories come from the journey it's every single day which counts it's the journey which is very important it is how you take one day at a time so in this journey of mine for close to 10 years that i've been teaching i've i've always believed in one thing and that is to work for me, my work is worship. My work is, is the biggest glory of my life. My work is something which drives me morning, evening, night. And I always believe that, you know, you have to constantly keep doing the right thing. Har rose, thoda, 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 thoda karke, just continue to do the right thing. And eventually everything, you know, when I left dentistry, it was not really easy to, to leave this and to leave dentistry and to get into teaching. 
and to become a teacher there are people do ask you a lot of questions you know oh why teaching oh you are a dentist why even now kids ask me why but i believed i believed in changing our country i believed in education i believed in the right teacher who can bring about a spark in the life of of children i believe that if you have one inspiring teacher you can truly inspire generations and generations and you can you can you know have such great doctors or such great students or such great citizens in our country so i believe if if amur sir can motivate me and make me what i am probably i can also try and do that for for all the kids who ever come in contact with me so that's my journey nothing special as of now and i always say that i always say that i'm just a very ordinary person extremely ordinary teacher but just by the grace of god i'm associated with an extraordinary brand a brand which is vedanta which stands for you know which stands for for breaking all barriers to education we truly truly want to make sure that there are no geographical barriers there are no you know economical barriers to education any child who wants to study immaterial of the fact wo kahin bhi baitha ho wo delhi mein ho ya wo timbuktu mein baitha ho wo bachcha jo padhna chahe wo bacche ko you that child doesn't have to look at his pocket and see how much money do i have so let's together my dear children that's the story of my life and that's how i i really that's the message i want to give you that we i or we as vedantu are there to break all possible barriers for education or in education we want to make it make sure that any child who wants to study has access to studies and can study that's that's the thought behind who i am what i am and what i do every single day yes thank you hope you enjoyed this small little tale of an ordinary human being an ordinary teacher with a superpower and that superpower is vedantu and a even bigger superpower and that superpower which i can never break or that superpower which uh, which i am so thankful to god for or that superpower which makes me the super woman that i want to be is your love and your support keep that coming because without you vedantu or without you we biotronic or without you vani ma'am is nothing it's only with your love support which is unending that we can do what we choose to do and that is to democratize knowledge to ignite the passion of learning and to make sure that each one of you becomes the student or the person or the citizen of this great country that you're destined to be with a little push with a little nudge from all of us i'm sure you will go out and achieve all the greatness in this world and that's what we biotonic and vani will always do for you yes powered by vedantu the superpower of we biotonic bye kids